What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to get this look using the new BH Cosmetics Birthstone Palette in Diamond for April. Okay, so here's the palette first and foremost. Really, really nice colors this month. Obviously the all-star here being the Diamond Shimmer and then a couple of nice neutrals, some really kapow shimmers, a pressed glitter, and some nice pinks to really lift that white creaminess. So really the only color I didn't go in with for this look is bling, which if you watched the video on the March palette, you know that that one in the bottom corner is really just a pressed glitter. I thought this was amped up plenty without needing the glitter on top of it. So first we're gonna go in with this shade here, which is appropriately named neutral, but I think you'll be surprised, I certainly was, whenever I see colors that light as an all over wash color, I don't expect too much out of it, but really, this color lightens my whole lid. And as a very fair skinned woman, it is difficult to do that with a light pigment. The next thing I'm gonna do is take a slightly more densely packed brush. And then to get this look here, I used a combination of these two colors. This one is called Suave. It's a very coppery, it pulls more orange on the skin. And then Lover, which is a beautifully pigmented bubblegum pink. So I went in with Lover first to kind of start shaping out the eye. Because I didn't want to do it with anything too dark. You gotta have a little bit of room to make mistakes and correct as you need to. Dragging that down onto the lid so we end up with our nice lid shape that we want. And then to deepen that up, what I ended up doing was taking a little bit of the swab, just a little bit, and then also dipping it into the lover to keep it pulling too orange and you can see it already deepens up quite a bit without needing to just go fully in with that color suave. If you wanted a warmer look, um, something to kind of ground all of these cool colors in, you could totally go in just with the suave color. Okay, so that's where we're gonna start out with that. Now to get this really intensified look around the eye, I went in with just the tiniest, tiniest bit of this color Fearless here. That is an incredibly pigmented black shadow look. I'll show you here just a little bit on my finger. Yeah, so be very careful with how you use that. So just a tiny little bit of that combined with this color here in the center is stunning. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the black and more of the stunning sort of gunmetal silver in the center. And what I'm gonna do here is take this all over the lash line and the lower part of my lid. Then you wanna make sure that you are connecting that down onto the lower lash line so you don't end up with a big bare spot out here at the corner, even for us ladies with the hooded lashes, hooded lashes, hooded lids. Now, if you maybe got a little overzealous like I did a little bit there, it's okay. Using that same brush that I did before, I'm going back into Lover and Suave, and I'm just gonna kind of make sure that those are the colors that are overlapping those dark grays instead of the other way around. Okay, now as you can see over here, the all-star of the show here is that more diamondy, lighter color, more so than the black in the Fearless. So taking a flat brush, I'm gonna pack a little bit more of this shade Stunning over the top in the center of the lid there, and then we're gonna wash this shade Diamond over top of all of it. The next thing that I'm gonna do is super subtle and over here you can kind of take a peek. The same way that we connected that dark color from the lid down onto the lower lash line, I took a very small detail brush and did the same thing with that orangey pink combination. So going in with my little brush, a dab of suave, a little bit more of the pink, and I'm gonna kind of go around the outside here and down underneath that dark gray that we have on the lower lash line. Again, just so you have that continuous circle of color. You can see it's really, really subtle, but it does make a nice difference. For liner and lashes, I used the Obsidian Essential Eye Coal Pencil from Wayne Goss and my Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this side. 
And there you have it. You've got a pretty dramatic but cool toned smoky eye. I love the pop of pink that they added to this palette. I feel like whenever you're doing smoky eyes, it's really easy to just launch fully into the grays and blacks and use just white to lift it. I think the addition of the pink is really, really beautiful. Um, I have worn this look with a lighter lip, but for those curious, this is the Pat McGrath Divine Romance. That is the shade of this lipstick. It's very, very matte, so I chose to gloss it up a little bit using a NARS gloss in the shade Istria. So that's what I have on my lips. I will link all of these products down in the description box below for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.